22 a.m. Um, so hour two completed of 24. I started off the 24 hours by reading until I got hungry, so for about 10 minutes. Um, and then I had dinner. I went up and made dinner. Yes, I had dinner at 12.30 in the morning. What of it? Um, I was just really hungry and I hadn't had dinner, so I had that. I had um, a burger, a veggie burger without the bun or anything, um, and some potato popper things, like little potato bite things that were like, I put in the oven that was like a little bit greasy, which is what I was like feeling, you know, something very unhealthy. Because who eats healthy like at 12.30 in the morning? Like, um, yeah, so I had that. And then I started reading again, and then I took a break to get something to drink, started reading again, and then I watched some YouTube videos. I don't even know how that happened. Um, and then I read some more, and so long story short, I read 60 pages. Um, and now I'm gonna go sleep. So, I really, I think that this, these first two hours are, like, will give you a taste of what the rest of the 22 hours are gonna be. There's gonna be a lot of breaks, a lot of eating, probably. Ho hopefully not as unhealthy. Um, and probably some more sleeping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep like a full eight hours. Um, and some reading, some reading. I'm not probably gonna finish the book that I'm reading. By the way, I'm reading this. This is The Vall Sauvage, Volume 1 of The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. Um, I started off on page 100. I'm on page 161. Um, and yeah, I'm probably not gonna finish this in this 24 hours. This isn't a look at all the pages and look at all the books. <laughs> the books that I've read. This is more of just like a, hey, Come hang with me for 24 hours as I read and eat and sleep and stuff. So, I hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm gonna go sleep now. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It is 11.59, so it's the last time that I could have said that. Um, so I went to sleep last night, got my eight hours, woke up this morning and started to read. And I got to page 210, um, chapter 12. And then I think I fell back to sleep for like a little bit. Thank goodness not for too long. Um, I got up, um, got myself together slightly, and got some breakfast. This is granola and yogurt, so picture of health am I. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna get back to reading. 12 hours left, we're halfway through. <laughs> So one hour has passed, and I'm on page 252, almost a halfway. I'm really enjoying this so far. I can't wait to keep reading. While I keep reading, I'm going to be eating some chocolate cake, um, which is delicious. I can't wait. Um, and yeah, I feel like it's going to be like healthy thing, unhealthy thing, healthy thing, unhealthy thing. So maybe I'll have a green smoothie next. Um, balance, you know, that's what I'm all about. Yeah, so I'm going to keep reading and eat my cake. So I've moved from my desk to my couch, thrilling, um, and I'm going to be probably like here for the rest of the day, um, reading my book, which is actually quite thrilling at the moment, it's very hectic at the moment, and I actually just um, got to part two, the book is divided into two parts, and I'm in part two at the moment, um, page 303, I'm more than halfway through, it is 2.49 at the moment, so almost three o'clock, um, which means I have how am I not able to do that math instantly? <laughs> Which means that I have nine hours left, almost, just over nine hours, um, to do some reading. So that's what I'm gonna do, right here. So, it is almost five o'clock, it is 4.50, um, so that means I have like just over seven hours left. I'm on page um, 355, and I think that means that I have 180 pages of this left. Um, I'm slightly, um, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that because 180 pages in seven hours is like doable for me, possibly. And I really didn't want this to be like me trying to race to finish a book in a day. Um, because it's like just barely doable, like it's something I could probably do 
but I'll probably have lots of breaks and like, you know, get distracted at points. Um, but we'll see. I really don't want to like pressure myself. So if I don't finish it, it's fine. I need to remind myself that and like not try and race, not try and finish it. Like it's fine if I like keep reading after 12 o'clock. Um, and yeah, so I really want to enjoy this. I am enjoying it so much. After things got hectic, they sort of slightly calmed down, but are still like everything is just happening and is crazy. And like the first half of this book was so much calmer than what's happening right now. Like everything's just happening. Um, and I'm excited to get back to it, but I'm gonna take a break now because I need to walk around and, like, maybe eat something that's not unhealthy and isn't a snack, because I've been snacking a lot. upstairs for a little bit, um, you know, for a change of pace, change of scenery, um, and I was having a green smoothie, how? Huh? Um, and yeah, I wasn't really that hungry, so I didn't have like a full lunch, I just had the smoothie and I was, I like, snacked a bunch before. Um, I read upstairs for a little bit, came downstairs, and I've been reading for the past, I don't know how long. Um, I'm on page 448, I have 100 pages left of the book. It is 8.14 p.m., so I have, like, just under four hours. Um, I'm gonna finish this book today, which I really, I really did not expect. Still no pressure, though. Like, I think at a certain point I'm just gonna stop looking at clocks and just be like, I'll finish when I finish. If I finish at 12.05, that's fine. Like, I'm not gonna, like, try and, like, you know, race at all. I really just, I really just wanna, like, you know, be chill and not try to, like, finish the book in a day. Um, because I didn't, I didn't actually start from the beginning of the book, so I, even if I did finish, I wouldn't have been reading a book. Anyway, it's not important because I'm not trying to do that. Um, I'm just gonna enjoy this book, possibly finish it today, but first, time for dinner. <music> finished the book! I finished The Ball Sauvage, the volume one of The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman, my second book of the year. I'm so, so glad that I finished this. Um, it is 546 pages, I think, and I started on page 100 today, so I read 440, 446 pages today, which I think is the most amount of pages I've read in a day ever. Um, definitely within the last few years, I haven't read that much in a day, like, I can't even remember the last time that's happened. If it's happened, it's crazy. I can't believe it's happened. Like, if this was like a 300 page book, please. Easy. Um, but yeah, I, I had so little faith in myself at the start of today. I really didn't think that I was going to read that much. I didn't, I wasn't trying to, um, sort of. Um, I was trying to read a bunch, but I wasn't trying to like finish the book. Um, until like, you know, when it, when it started to be like, oh, I could actually finish the book, then I sort of started. I think I'll be doing a review of this tomorrow. Um, I have some thoughts. I really enjoyed it so, so much. Um, but I think I'm gonna give it 4.5 out of 5. One of the, a chapter, like, nearish the end, like, three or four chapters to the end, um, like, someone, like, hit down hard on the accelerator with, like, the, um, fantastical, um, fantasy elements of the story, and it felt very abrupt and strange. Um, but I still really enjoyed it, and I still, I'm excited to read the next book. It's gonna be amazing, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. It was great. I'm so glad to be back in this world. Like, I love this world so much, and I really love these characters. They're so great. Um, but yeah, I do definitely have a bunch of thoughts that I want to put into review, so I will be filming that probably tomorrow and uploading it very soon. Um, thank you so much for sticking with me through this day. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're having a wonderful day, and that you're reading lots, and yeah, happy reading. I'll see you next time.